Do you want to know the code rule for the placement of lighting outlets? How about the rules for the light switches and lighting control? Our topic for today is lighting outlets where required. Good day, fellow practitioners, engineers, electricians, and future engineers. Welcome to Codesultant channel. Today our discussion is in section 2.10.3.21. Lighting outlets required. But first, what is an outlet? As defined in the electrical code, outlet. A point on the wiring system at which current is taken to supply utilization equipment, while the definition of a receptacle outlet is an outlet where one or more receptacles are installed. Photos show typical receptacle outlets. A receptacle is always an outlet, but an outlet is not only a receptacle. There is a lighting outlet. By code definition, a lighting outlet is an outlet intended for the direct connection of a lamp holder, a luminaire, lighting fixture, or a pendant cord terminating in a lamp holder. The code rules for lighting outlets is covered in section 2.10.3.21. Lighting outlets shall be installed where specified in 2.10.3.21a, b, and c. These subsections cover the code rules for dwelling units, guest rooms, hotel, motel, or similar occupancies, and specific areas for all occupancies. Required lighting outlet provisions for dwelling units are divided into three subsections under 2.10.3.21a. The first subsection covers lighting outlet provisions for habitable rooms, kitchens, and bathrooms. The second contains requirements for hallways, stairways, and garages. The last subsection covers attics, underfloor spaces, utility rooms, and basements. What is the habitable room? There are no definitions in Chapter 1 of our Electrical Code. Referring to the Cambridge Dictionary, habitable is providing conditions that are good enough to live in or on. Hence, areas that we can eat, sleep, cook, etc. These are bedrooms, living rooms, dining areas, and similar areas. What are the rules for the habitable rooms, kitchen, and bathroom? Subsection 2.10.3.21a1 states that, at least one wall switch controlled lighting outlet shall be installed in every habitable room, kitchen, and bathroom. This provision requires at least one lighting outlet controlled by a wall mounted light switch. However, the light switch's location is not addressed in the code. It can be anywhere inside the room, but the best place will be near its entrance. In exception 1, a receptacle outlet controlled by a wall switch is permitted to serve as the required lighting outlet in the habitable room except in the kitchens and bathrooms. For exception 2, occupancy sensor controlling the light outlets. 1. In addition to regular switches, occupancy sensors are permitted to be used for switching lighting outlets in habitable rooms, kitchens, and bathrooms. 2. Occupancy sensors are permitted to be used for switching lighting outlets in habitable rooms, kitchens, and bathrooms, provided they are equipped with a manual override. In addition to other areas of the dwelling units, at least one light outlet controlled by a wall-mounted switch is required in hallways, stairways, and garages with electric power as stated in subsection 2.10.3.21a2a. While in subsection 2.10.3.21a2b, at least one wall switch controlled lighting outlet must be installed to provide illumination on the exterior side of outdoor entrances or exits with grade level access. The light switch location can be inside or outside the garage, the vehicle door is not considered an outdoor entrance or exit. If the interior stairways have six or more risers between floor levels, at least one wall light switch at each floor level shall be provided to control the stairway light outlets. The factor in determining if one or more light switches is required shall be based on the number of stairway risers. If less than six risers, at least one light switch is required. However, Installing a wall switch at each floor level is permissible when the number of risers between floor levels is less than 6. Some stairways have one or more landings between floor levels. If the landing includes an entryway, a switch is required at the landing. A landing with no entryway shall not require a switch. A landing with no entryway will be considered as one of the risers of stairways. As stated in the exception, a remote, central, or automatic control device can switch lighting outlets for hallways, stairways, and outdoor entrances. For the interior stairways, the dimmer switch is allowed if both switches in the stair can adjust the light outlet to full brightness. 
This requirement is to avoid a condition when the brightness is set to the lowest illumination at one end of the stairs and cannot be adjusted at the other end. At least one lighting outlet is required in the areas of dwelling units used for storage or equipment space requiring servicing. These include attics, underfloor spaces, utility rooms, and basements. The lighting outlet must either have a switch or be controlled by a wall switch. The switch must be mounted at the usual entry point, while the equipment requiring servicing must have lighting outlets near it. For example, a basement in the attic will be used for storage, in compliance with the subsection 2.10.3.21A3. Hence, at least one lighting outlet must be installed. Although the lighting outlet could contain a switch, a wall switch must be used, and the location must be the entry point of the basement and attic. For utility room, as shown in the figure, has a piece of equipment requiring servicing. Hence, a lighting outlet must be installed near the equipment. For subsection 2.10.3.21, B. Guest rooms or guest suites. In hotels, motels, or similar occupancies, guest rooms, or guest suites shall have at least one wall switch controlled lighting outlet installed in every habitable room and bathroom. In exception 1, a receptacle outlet controlled by a wall switch is permitted to serve as the required lighting outlet in the habitable room except in the kitchens and bathrooms. In exception 2, condition 1, occupancy sensor controlling the light outlets, in addition to regular switches, is permitted. For condition 2, occupancy sensors can be used for switching lighting outlets, provided they are equipped with a manual override. The requirement for hotel guest rooms is almost the same as the requirements for dwelling units as specified in subsection 2.10.3.21. A. 1. Habitable room. Required lighting outlets for all occupancies is similar to subsection 2.10.3.21. A. 3. To summarize, all habitable rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, hallways, stairways, garages, garage entrances, and similar areas in the dwelling unit shall have at least one lighting outlet controlled by a wall switch. The stairways with six or more risers must have a wall switch on each floor level. The requirements for lighting outlets in the habitable room and bathrooms of hotel and motel guest rooms are similar to the criteria in dwelling units. Storage and equipment spaces for all occupancies shall require at least one lighting outlet. The lighting outlet must either have a switch or be controlled by a wall switch. Further, the equipment requiring servicing must have a lighting outlet near it. Thank you all for watching. Do you have any topics you want to discuss? Please, type in the comment box, and if you like this video, please subscribe, like, or share. See you in the following video.